All right, what's good, YouTube? It's Q. I got another video for you guys. Finally, two weeks later. But you know, we're back at it. So, anyways, uh, I posted in the community tab on YouTube, and you guys were saying you want to see how to make some Roddy Rich style beats. So, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that, start to finish. So, let's just get right into it. So, I got this uh, contact library called the Evolution Modern Nylon, which is some guitar library. It's by far my favorite. It's like this, uh, it's like a real simple acoustic guitar, but it just sounds the best in my opinion. You can find a lot of free guitar libraries, such as uh, Ample Guitar M Lite. I know that one's pretty good, but I just prefer this contact library. So anyways, when you're making uh, these guitar melodies, usually what you're gonna wanna do is go into a minor scale or maybe a natural or uh, minor harmonic scale and just start clicking stuff in until you, you like something. So I'm gonna go ahead and do D minor and uh, I'm gonna just lay out some chords that sound good and then you'll watch as I uh, progress through this this video <laughs> changed change my mind I'm gonna go D sharp because I like the way that sounds better
All right, cool. So this is the melody I tapped in. Um, in my opinion, it's sounding a little too happy. So I might try and pitch it down or up depending on what I'm feeling. But basically what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab the pattern. I'm going to highlight it like this. I'm going to go into my master. Put on this Edison. Click record. And on play. And I'm going to go back into the uh, playlist. And just click my space bar to record it. Oh, make sure you're in song. But since I played it, it did record that. So I'm going to delete that, re-click the record button, make sure it's still on play. Go back into the uh, playlist and click my space bar. Just make sure you're in song mode. Perfect. So now when you go back into Edison, since I had it highlighted like that in the playlist, you just hit your uh, right arrow key twice. It'll highlight this second part. Click delete. Drag this back into your playlist. You can delete the pattern now. And then I'm going to just assign this to a mixer track and try and make it sound a little better than it already does. So first things first, I'm going to add a RC retro color. If you know me, you know that was coming. I'm going to keep this on vinyl one, just bring this noise down a lot. I'm going to keep this wobble probably at like 10%. Turn in the distortion real low, maybe like 5%. Bring this digital up a decent amount, but bring the bits like all the way up to where my bad. Bring the rate down real low, like that. And then I'm gonna add some space, turn the decay down so it's not too muddy. I'm gonna widen it a little bit, take out some of the lows and a lot of the highs, and let's see what we got. Alright, so I'm actually gonna bring some of the highs back in because that sounds a little too a little too quiet. All right, cool. So I'm liking that a lot, actually. So now I'm going to just try and make this sound a little more full. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into this pattern one. I'm going to just highlight the guitar pattern. Click Control C. I'm going to go into Omnisphere and grab a piano and just paste it in there and have it play real quiet, like just below the uh, guitar, just to fill it out a little bit more. But I'm just going to use this LA Custom C7 Softest patch and then I'm gonna just paste it on there I'm gonna sign it to the second mixer track I'm gonna drag this pattern in but make sure I mute the guitar and I'm also gonna go into this piano and delete all these uh, these little accent notes because those really don't those aren't necessary for a piano I'm also gonna highlight everything and just bring the velocity down a lot All right, so I'm gonna grab this EQ, put it on bandpass neuro, just widen it a bit so it takes out a lot of the lows, a lot of the highs. Let's hear how this sounds. Cool, so that's pretty much it for the main melody now. What I'm going to do is, so I got these two one-shot kits. I got this one by Base One and Pilgrim, this Black Magic one, so shout out that. And then I got this other one by Hayes. And uh, I'm going to just play around with some of the one-shots in there and see if I can make a cool little top melody or just some cool accents to it. So let's see. All right, so I like this bell. So first thing I'm going to do is change envelope knobs and then we're gonna go into here right click edit in audio editor uh, detect pitch regions so that's at C perfect so now I'm gonna just go in here and see if I can make a little top melody
So that's obviously <clears throat> so that's obviously out of key. So if you ever if you ever have a sound that's out of key, just right click, go to Edit in Audio Editor, click uh, Detect Pitch Regions. So it says A sharp. Then you will go back into that sound. Click right here and just highlight the key that it's in. So it's A sharp. So I'm gonna put A sharp right there, and now it should sound better. Yeah. So I actually like how this sounds. I'm gonna just put a whole lot of reverb on there and hopefully it'll sound a lot better. So first I'm gonna make it way wider. Turn the noise off, turn the wobble off. Take all the lows out, maybe a little bit of the highs and just drench in reverb. Alright cool, so I'm actually liking how that sounds. I think that's pretty much it for the melody part and now I'm going to just lay some drums across this for you guys and see where it goes from there. So I'm going to make a new pattern so I can put all the drums in there, throw this under there, and I'm going to go ahead and just start laying it out. Actually first thing I'm going to do to make this easy, I'm going to highlight all of my melodies, I'm going to route them to this track, route to this track only, and then I'm going to add an EQ on this and I'm gonna cut just a decent amount of the lows out. All right, perfect. All right, so let's get these drums going.
cool. So that's about it for the percussion. But honestly, I'm going to turn this down to about 123. Let me make sure this is on stretch. Uh, 129. So I'm going to change this to stretch so it moves with the BPM. So I'm going to change this to 123 and just hear how that's. See if this sounds better pitched down. To, uh, let's see, so is that D sharp? All right, cool. So I pitched that down 300 semitones. So I gotta go in here. One, two, three. Here, one, two, three. Oh, that didn't make any sense. Let me see. One, two, three. Oh, so I didn't, I gotta bring that down one more time. And then one, two, three. Cool, so I like that. So now I'm gonna just add an 808 and a kick and then we should be good. So I'm gonna just follow the root note of the actual pattern. I gotta change my second pattern here, so. Jumps to Oops. I'm just copy the root note, so I'm just copying these right here. Hit control C, go back to pattern two where the 808 is. There she is. Go in here, hit paste. And then I would just turn. Get a little triple step over right here. to a
so that's the end of this video. I'm going to lay this out, mix it and everything, and you guys are going to hear the beat after that. But uh, that's all I got for you guys right now. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and check the description for more information. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.